You're right guys, it's Capcom Tom here and welcome to another episode of the Silver Striker Tournament. This is the second match in the quarterfinals and it's going to be between Jobson and Mayuka. So a really interesting contest coming up. But first, if you're looking to buy some Ultimate Team Coins, go check out futcoinking.com. Their link will be down in the description. A fast, cheap and reliable coin service. Use code CAP5 at checkout for a discount. So, usually at this point I would show you who won the last round or the last match. I haven't decided to do that today because I wanted to give it more time, more time for you guys to go out and vote. If you missed the first round, you can go and watch that video, go get your votes cast, and we can definitely choose a winner in the next episode. And I will obviously announce the winner of this episode in the next episode as well. So does that make sense? But yeah, whatever. Let's dive in and have a look at our two players. First off, we have Jobson, 72 rated overall, 84 pace, 68 shooting, 61 passing, 76 dribbling, 44 defending, and 69 heading. He's 5 foot 8, medium low work rate, 5 star skill, 3 star weak foot, and he has no traits. What's that about, man? At least he should have flair or something. Anyway, we have Mayuka, he's 71 rated overall, 90 pace, 66 shooting, 51 passing, 74 dri dribbling, 45 defending, and 64 heading. He's 5 foot 10, high low work rate, 4 star skill, 4 star weak foot, and he has the tries to be off offside trap trait. Now last year Mayuka was definitely one of my favourite players on the game that was silver. Just absolutely fantastic. He was in the BPL. This year he's in League One which does you know dent his price a little bit because last year I think he was like 50 to 100k or something. Something ridiculous like that. Anyway let's dive in and start building this team. As you can see we're building in the four triple two formation today. Not a brilliant hybrid I have to say. It's more of a split team with uh, League One on the side and then um, the L ALJ League on the left side so um, no real links going in between the two players but it is actually a very good team very strong team and I would recommend that you try it out if you're into your silver players so let's start with the left side of the pitch first and we are going to go with the silvers and stay in the silvers and the first one is going to be Elton he goes into the team there you go you get that strong link into uh, Jobson costs an absolute bomb because he costs I think like 80,000 coins um, but you know he's pretty good he's got five star skills as well and decent pace then at centre defensive mid we are going Going with a um, well a Saudi player and you can see there we got Kahari or Karari I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name but he's very tall he's got good defending stats and he's got good heading and then at the left back position we're using the fastest left back in the ALG J League and it's a guy called El Sharani and he's got 90 pace so kind of crazy um, stats there for him as a 69 rated left back then at the centre back position we are using a pretty decent one his name is going to be Al Mulawalad and uh, he has 77 pace and was a very decent defender as well as he's got 78 heading that's crazy for a 70 rated centre back so that's the uh, left side of the pitch sorted and now we can move on to the right side of the pitch so at the centre attacking mid pit uh centre attacking mid position we are using Melikson who has 4 star skills and 4 star weak foot thought it was going to be a lot better actually it was kind of disappointing not that he was bad just that he wasn't as good as I was hoping he would be then at the CDM position we're using a teammate of my UK a guy called Dubai you can see him there slotting into the team and he's an absolute monster 70 pace 72 defending 75 passing and 68 heading and he's built like a brick shit house as well then at right back we are going to be using this guy from Olympic Leon Miguel Lopez he has 83 pace and then we have at centre back Kone who's another Leon player and he has 71 pace and he was actually very very good nice and tall good and strong and you know good defending stats as well then in the final position is the goalkeeper we are using a Leon keeper and his name is Ruver Kutre and uh, he goes into the team and he completes our lineup so there you go you can see the team now what we're going to do is jump into the stats and the goals for these two players and you guys are going to have to make up your on your minds on who you want to go through to the next round. So we have Jobson on the left and Mayuka on the right. Now the first thing you want to notice is that Jobson is currently in blue and that's because in this clip he is scoring. So whoever is blue is the one that is scoring in the clip that is currently showing. So now you can see that Mayuka has turned blue. Now the reason I did this is because on next gen you don't get the bar come up at the bottom that says the player's name who's just scored which some of you said in the last video made it difficult to know who was the actual scorer of the goals and it could alter your decision on who goes through to the next round or who you're going to vote for so I decided to do this and I hope you guys think it's a good idea now as for the stats these players are going to be very difficult for you to choose between because the stats are so damn close look at that there's loads of green for Mayuka there's loads of green for Jobson in fact it's probably about 50 50 they both scored the same amount of goals you know uh, Jobson he had a he had more man in the matches but he actually had a lower average rating than Mayuka um, 
Jobson actually got more t more assists, you know, than Mayuka managing to get two to one. But Mayuka's shot accuracy is better. So how do you rank your strikers? What do you think makes the best striker? That's what you've really got to decide. Is it the quality of the goals? Is it some of the stats? Is there something that stands out for you in that bunch? Now it's your turn to decide who you want to go through to the next round. All you have to do to vote is head down into the description of this video. There's a link to an FUT head squad. Scroll to the bottom of that squad. There's two comments from me. One that says vote Jobson. One that says vote Mayuka. And all you have to do is thumb up the one that you want to go through to the next round. So there you go, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Obviously, if you could drop it a like, that'd be fantastic. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. But other than that, I'm going to have to leave it there. And I will see you all next time.